Good afternoon and welcome to another local cricket masterclass where today we're going to have a look at an incredibly underappreciated skill. It is talking to the umpire at the non-strikers end. And here to teach us how to do that is the local cricket skipper, Wally. G'day boys, how are you going? Right, our umpire's here. Let's get it started. All right, straight off, what we've got to do is get on a first name basis. Okay, what that's going to do is it's going to build trust that we can later exploit when it comes to any of those 50 50 LB decisions. So you're not going to call him sir or ump or anything like that? I've been that. You want him to think that you guys are mates, okay? It's fair to assume that he doesn't have a lot of friends. I mean, he's standing in the hot sun for 150 bucks. You're not even playing the game. Uh, so you, you, want to, you want him to think you guys are friends. Now, we've had a facsimile sent into us from Boxy from South Brisbane. Now, Wally Boxy from South Brisbane says, I have the best intentions to chat to the umpire, but I always get cold feet. Is there a way I can practice before the match? Yeah, it, it, it's a common problem, Boxy. And look, there is definitely a way. I suggest, and what I like to do is practice on taxi drivers or Uber drivers. Uh, just throwing out things in conversation like, uh, how's your shift going? Is this your, your primary job? Do you mind if we stop into the Macca's drive through Those sort of meaningless questions really help build a healthy rapport. Absolutely. Now, what about these umpires that get caught up on obscure kind of rules, you know, like following through into the danger area, even though you're playing on a synthetic wicket? How do you engage one of those guys as an actual human being? Well, they're not humans, Hammy, and they're never going to be. But if you, if you must engage them, what I would suggest is, on occasion, say, good decision uh, when they give someone in your team out that you don't really like anyway. Well, that's very comprehensive, Wally. And uh, hey, if you are someone who's terrible at cricket, uh, but you still want to spend a nice hot day in the sun, showcase your indecisiveness and uh, lose any remaining respect you might have with your peers, why not become a local cricket umpire? All the details are up there on your screen right now. That's all we've got time for today on Local Cricket Masterclass. We'll catch you next time.